Hello, this is Paul Chegg. Welcome back to my video blog. Today I have a fun one for you. What I learned from a bucket, and this is the bucket. It's a watering can, but it's a bucket. This is the bucket that taught me something I want to share with you. Now it's something that I was aware of, but not to the degree I was made aware of it, and my soul brought this awareness up into me. Hey, you know, sometimes your concept is a bit off. If you pay close attention, to what's happening in front of you, you can learn something. So here's how the bucket taught me something. Right outside the door, right over there, out to the garden area, there's a tap we use to run the hose for the garden and the rubber seal inside the tap valve is worn. So even when you turn it down, it keeps dripping. And I like to pee outside in the garden. That's my favorite thing, one of my favorite things. I like to pee in nature. I don't like to pee in the toilet. I like to go outside and when I gotta get up, I'd rather go out in my bare feet and stand outside in nature and I like to give my love to the earth and feed those microorganisms and help give the flowers some good nutrition and everybody around. I like to share the love, man. But if you pee outside your house too much, pretty soon it starts smelling like a porta potty out there. So I realized I gotta take a watering can and you know spray that stuff down with some water, get it down into the earth so it doesn't smell so bad. So it dawned on me, shit, well, I'm, the, the tap's dripping. I'm just gonna set this thing underneath the tap so it drips in there so I can use it instead of it just evaporating. So uh, one day I set my bucket up under there and I counted. The dro it drops about once every four seconds and you can hear it hit the bucket. Ding, ding, ding. And my first thought was, I wonder if that's gonna amount to anything. Well, I got busy working, came out later in the day, maybe, you know, five, six hours later, and by golly, there was like a gallon and a half of water in the bucket. I went, wow, there's a lot of water. That thing's costing me a lot of money just to sit there and run like that. I'm glad I'm capturing that. So I'd water it and come back a little while later for another pee. Wow, there's quite a bit in there. And I thought, damn, that's amazing. I, it made me think of all the times accountants and money managers said to me, if you just put a little bit of money away, in this particular account, over the span of the next 20 or 30 years, it could amount to a million dollars. I used to look at it like that and say, oh yeah, right, you know, just my young foolishness, not having a relationship with a bucket. And then I realized, wow, just a little bit consistently, just a little consistent effort really does amount to something. And it allows me to save water, enjoy peeing out in the garden and not have the place stink. And I look out there and my plants are growing strong. And I know that my pee is good because I pee on my fig tree. I pee on my orange trees. And every time someone comes over and tastes them, they always say, oh my God, these are the best oranges or the best figs. And I say, yeah, they taste good because I pee on them all the time. I remember the first time I told my wife that she looked at me funny. She goes, well, keep it up. It's working. <laughs> so let's just take a quick review on some of the simple things we can learn from a bucket sitting under a tap. First is perception. Remember, if your perception is that little drop is nothing, then nothing plus nothing always equals nothing. So if you think, for example, oh, I don't have time to exercise, and you keep saying that, well, no time equals nothing, and if you keep doing that, you get nothing. But as I've told people, look, if you just got out of your chair, every hour on the hour and just did 10 breathing squats. <sighs> 10 of those every hour on the hour, that would be in 12 hours, that'd be 120 breathing squats. That means you've taken responsibility for yourself, taken a full diaphragmatic breath, opened up your rib cage, moved your emotions, pumped your body, got your biological oscillators working together, cleared your head. That's something. Dude, that one thing could be the difference between a disease and not a disease, an illness and not an illness. Being unaware and not paying attention and being aware and paying attention and therefore maybe not crashing a car or doing something you wish you hadn't done, like cutting yourself with a knife while you're cooking or something. So nothing plus nothing always equals nothing. But when something, the drop plus something equals something more, 
at least you can wash your pee away and enjoy your garden when you're having to pee and, and do your breathing squats in nature or whatever it might be. But that bucket taught me that just a little bit regularly turns out to be really something. Next, 1% a day of any of your four doctors. Quiet, doing something for yourself. Take the day, day and divide it Divide 24 hours by how many minutes of the day and just decide what 1% is for you. In other words, what yours is your concept of 1%? Is it one minute? Is it 10 minutes? Whatever it is that you're willing to give, if it's at least 1%, realistically and honestly, only 1%, 1% a day for just 100 days equals a whole new you. If you do 1% better with movement, 1% better with diet, 1% better, better with quiet, or 1% better at taking responsibility for creating happiness within yourself, either any one of those or any one of those four, you will literally be 100% improved in only 100 days, which is a little bit over three months. You can get more improvement in three months than many people get in a, an entire lifetime. And I've seen this happening over and over again with my students for many, many years. So I know little committed commitments every day builds up to be something significant. So remember, each drop equals a state. So every time you do your breathing squats, you, you come out and go, wow, that really cleared my head. That made me feel better. Now you're experiencing a new state of being, a new state of awareness. Ah, I'm aware that just 10 breathing squats an hour really makes a difference in how I feel at work, how much work I get done, how clear my head is, etc. Whenever we have a new state and we continue to take responsibility for recreating that state, we accumulate enough energy, life force, and awareness to reach a new stage. Interestingly enough, the Taoist masters teach that if you're going to do any kind of a work in or any spiritual practice, it must be done consistently without a break for 100 days or you will not accumulate enough chi or life force to have any significant change in you. It's like that drop of water. If I didn't put the bucket there, before the next few drops even came, it would just evaporate and I'd get nothing. So if you only do meditation, tai chi, working in exercising once in a while, the effects evaporate before you can get any accumulation. So you get to be one of these people, oh, I've been doing Tai Chi for years, I haven't felt nothing. Yeah, well, I've been doing Tai Chi for years. When I investigate as a coach or a therapist, it usually turns out to be, I did Tai Chi once two months ago and once the other day, and I went to a Tai Chi class once. That's not Tai Chi for years, that's just, um, it's not even foreplay, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's the beginning of a dance, but it's not a mature adult participatory uh, position. So the turtle always outruns the hare or the rabbit, if you're not familiar with the term hare, male rabbit. Um, the turtle always outruns the hare. Why? Because the turtle keeps going in the direction of the turtle's dream and stays focused on the target and the turtle is like the one percent a day but the rabbit is like the monkey mind ADD behavior or the victim mentality I have to woulda shoulda coulda didn't bouncing all over the place and so you hear all sorts of people saying about all the things they're gonna do or woulda done or shoulda done or coulda done and then you get a bunch of guys sitting in the bar and as the old saying goes goes, the older I get, the faster I was, meaning you have to tell stories to compensate for your own judgments about being too passive in your life. So that's my story. Hey, hello, thank you, my dear bucket. The things you can learn from a bucket, baby. 1% a day for 100 days, and you will be a whole new person. Practice any one of those four doctors. Look at my little ebook, The Last Four Doctors Will Ever Need, How to Get Healthy Now. It's got video clips shows you how to do work in exercises, how to do all sorts of cool stuff, how to use tuning forks, chanting, toning, uh, how to balance your four doctors, how to know what they are, how to establish simple core values, how to eat, move, and be healthy is awesome. I know the author, friend of mine. Uh, all my basic public stuff, you are what you eat. Um, the PPS Success Mastery Program, 
Start where you feel like you need the most support. You can't go wrong. Do 1% a day for 100 days, and you'll know that this bucket is also valuable in your life. Thanks for joining me today. Pee in the woods. Enjoy your bucket.